335 group, let's go! So many runners, so many different visions for the perfect race day. For all of these Richmond marathoners, making it to the finish line is the ultimate goal. <laughs> I enjoy this race so much. Strong, looking good, then. In first time marathoner Casey Mize was ready to go the distance. I did the marathon training team um, with sports backers and I had my family and friends like scattered throughout the race. It was just fantastic. Her day started off perfectly. I was feeling good for probably about 21 miles. I was like, this is great. But after that, everything changed. And then it started getting a little bit harder and I thought, okay, well, this is a marathon. Like that's what people do. It's hard. But I just slowly, slowly started to like get a little foggy in my mind. Um, my hands and feet were like numb. And when her pace slowed down dramatically, she knew something was really wrong, but she did not anticipate what happened next, less than a mile from the finish line. I had people starting to pass me like pacers that were supposed to be like 10 minutes behind me. I was like, yikes, this is not good. So at 25 and a half miles, I just could like my legs locked up and I was like, I'm going down. Casey collapsed on the course. That's when the Richmond running community sprang into action. I had strangers come uh, and stay with me for like 30 minutes as EMTs like picked me up, put me in a truck bed, my whole body just cramped up. I mean, it was not my, my favorite moment ever, <laughs> but literally, um, yeah, God carried me through that whole experience. She was diagnosed with a condition called rhabdo, which happens when your muscles break down after injury or excessive exercise, and it can be life-threatening. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Greg. Since race day on November 11th, she has been recovering and nursed back to health. But Thursday, it was her marathon training team coach that encouraged her to finish her race and rallied her teammates to support her. And they all showed up to cheer her on as she finally crossed that finish line. We got everybody here and coordinated things, and it has just blown me away. Um, and I invited a lot of my friends, and I was just shocked at how they were all like, yes, I'll be there immediately, like. So, how did it feel? Yeah, it was like, first thought, try not to cry. Second thought, try not to fall down. Because <laughs> um, I'm just overwhelmed. I mean, I, I think you can tell my face is like frozen in a smile. <laughs> oh, so good, this is incredible. <laughs> when I asked Casey if she plans to try again next year. No matter what, I'll definitely be training with them. If I can, I would, I would love to really complete one, start to finish in one day. <laughs> Brendan King. That would be a great goal. CBS 6 News.